What inspires me about my research is the idea that the human brain is capable of maintaining information over long periods of time, sometimes our lifetime. And what I'm really interested in is how different systems in the brain allow for this uh, to actually occur. During early childhood, children are able to acquire vast amounts of information during a very, very short period of time, as many as 10 or 15 words a day. Uh, they do so through a process called fast mapping. Fast mapping uh, involves an inference process by which the child infers what an adult, for example, means with a certain new word. Um, and by doing so, the child actually forms a new association, a new durable association, so that, that if we later ask the child three weeks from now what that particular word means, uh, they would know the meaning. And this process is called fast mapping. What we have recently found was that adult patients with amnesia, so patients who've had uh, damage to the brain that prevents them from learning information in the regular way, are still able to use this primordial uh, learning mechanism in order to acquire novel associations just as well as people without a brain injury. Uh, what we hope to be able to do is help individuals recruit this primordial um, learning system in order to better function within their daily world if we are able to structure the world in a way that is conducive for forming associations through fast mapping. One of the things that is unique about fast mapping is that learning always takes place within a social interaction. So two minds that are interacting with each other allow for the formation of novel information within one of these minds. What I would really like to investigate is how does that uh, interaction come about, how the self is extended to a social self uh, to allow support of memory formation that otherwise is not possible. What is unique about Baycrest as a research environment is that it allows me many modules of brain imaging in order to further investigate the neural substrate, for example, of fast mapping or of other um, memory systems that I investigate. Uh, and in doing so, it allows me different angles and different understandings of these processes, which can later support uh, an understanding of the actual mechanisms that support fast mapping. For the aging population, I think what is critical uh, with respect to our research is the idea that if we have different memory systems in the brain, some of them might decline uh, in a slower pace than others. And if we can tap onto those uh, different mechanisms or different memory systems and help people recruit those systems instead of those that have been declining, uh, that could be a, of great benefit for their daily lives and for their uh, prolonged uh, functioning within society. My name is Asaf Gilboa and I'm a Rotman Research Institute scientist.